no matter what life looks like right now. I truly, with my whole heart, believe that we all have a story. And when time permits, I want to hear it. I want to know all about it. And even sometimes when time doesn't permit, I genuinely want to know how we all got to be here or, or there or wherever it is that we are. I really want, I want to know. I like to believe that I am a little bit easier on people, you know, because of that, because I, I get life and I get struggle and I get situations and I get, you know, um, when things weren't always as we dreamed they would be. So I get it. So I'm a little bit easier on people in that way, you know, a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more understanding, a little bit more just human. I guess, you know, but there are some things that I just don't get, you know, and I don't, I don't imagine I ever will. The other day I took my kids to a park after school and I really, I really don't like going to the park because the way my anxiety is set up and having two kids, uh, it's, it's hard on your girl, you know, it's, it's real hard. So I don't like going to the park, but you know, they asked me, mommy, will you take me to the park? So I, I took them to the park. You know, we went to the park right after school. Didn't even let them come home and, and do anything because I knew they were going to come home and start pop locking, you know, and I, I, I didn't want it. So I decided, okay, we we're going to go right after school. So I took them to the park and they get there, they take their shoes off so they can run around and play around the sand. And I didn't even say anything. Usually I'm tripping about feet coming out outside you know, but I, I just let them be kids because I'm working on that. So I'm standing there watching them. I'm, and I'm very, very present at the park because I just, I don't know. I don't know. That's, I got issues in that way. So I'm standing there and out of nowhere, this seemingly homeless man appears right here. And he's like, hi and I'm like hi you know in this really low voice because I didn't I didn't know what was happening and I really wasn't trying to entertain him I'm like you know I'm thinking bruh you know I'm here with my kids they right there you know what what are we doing and so he started to mumble something else and I did not respond because it was very awkward again he just kind of appeared and I don't know how I missed him um but he eventually walked away, but I kept my eyes on him because I was just very, I was on alert. You know, my antennas were up at that, at that point. So I'm watching him and he walks away and he kind of creeps up on this other mom who's standing outside of the bathroom waiting on, I don't know, her child's father or whoever this person is that's in the bathroom. She's standing out there with her baby and he creeps up on her and he just looks at her. So I'm like, you know, what, what the hell is happening here? So he kind of walks around the side of the building. Then he walks another way. He never actually leaves. Then he's digging in the trash can. And I just, I didn't know what was happening, you know, but I was just trying to stay calm. Like, you know, he's, he's doing whatever he's doing. I'm over here. But at this point, you've come into my space. So I need to kind of sidebar. Y'all remember my space? Yeah, I, I didn't get into that. But anyway, so... I kept my eyes on him, you know, and after a while, he makes his way back over to where we are. And he was, it was just really, really weird because he's walking around and, you know, he was very dirty. And this is what made me think that maybe he was homeless because he was dirty and, you know, his clothes were kind of, they didn't look like clothes that somebody would pick out for themselves. And he had a bag on him, you know, a bag with just a big bag with stuff in it, you know, just an assortment of things, it seemed. And so he comes over to where we are. My kids are playing on the apparatus because, you know, they don't call it a playground no more. Um, anyway, so my kids are playing on the apparatus. And I'm, I'm still kind of just watching him and, and not, not showing him that I'm watching him, but just kind of following along. So when he gets behind me, I, I switch positions and, and he goes and he, he gets, he starts laying around, you know, on the, 
on the slide and on all the areas where where kids are supposed to be having a good time at and it was just really weird and and then he spotted my children's shoes and so he gets up and he walks over toward the shoes and at first he walks past them but then he turns around he opens his bag and he bends down with his you know bends over with his hands out and he's about to grab my baby shoes and I'm like hey 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 that's that's mine that don't touch that that's my kids shoes you know I'm doing the the mom stuff and he stopped you know he didn't move forward he went and laid back on the slide it was really weird and then I was I was just livid I was angry I was I just I was angry that that was happening that my children had to had to see that that we had to be a part of that I just I'm 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 really thankful that nothing happened and that my voice was enough to to kind of step in and stop him from doing anything but I was pissed you know I was I was pissed because I don't know this person's story but I I didn't want to be a part of it in that way you know call me whatever you want to call me but it made me uncomfortable and so I tell my kids I said come on we're leaving you know this park isn't even the one right right by where we live I said we're leaving we we let's go and you know they're doing all the stuff the kids do what mommy what happened you know what what happened eh? what happened what did he do mom and I'm like just just come on go to the car stop talking let's go so we go get in the car and we leave and I just it took me a minute to shake that I don't know if I've actually completely shaken it because I just I don't get I don't get why that had to happen I don't I don't like that my baby's shoes almost got stolen you know by a stranger in the park that that shouldn't be that shouldn't that shouldn't be in broad daylight I don't, I don't know I don't know I'm I'm sure it's gonna shake some people up and you know you probably say I think you know all types of stuff about me like I think I'm better than people and all of that but I don't I don't I don't think I'm better than nobody but I just don't I don't like how I felt I hated how I felt in that moment I hated that I had to react in that way I hated that the situation even presented itself you know what I'm saying I just I don't know anyway I, I just I just wanted to tell you about it I just wanted to to share it and um I don't know. What you think about that? Hmm. Let me know. I'll see you tomorrow.